Hello class. Today we're going to talk about triangles, but I got a joke. Looking at this screen right here, it says, Delkin, have Mary home by 11, please. Have fun, kids. Bye, Mom and Dad. Okay, sir. I don't know, Sam. Something about that boy just isn't right. See? It's not a right triangle, so he's not right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about triangles. Okay, so this is curriculum review part 15. We're going to be dealing with angles inside and outside of triangles. So the first thing, let's kind of go back and review some old information. Matter of fact, some information probably all the way back to 5th and 6th grade. Okay, and then we'll gradually get to the 8th grade stuff. So in this one, we've got angle names for triangles. And we know that we name triangles the same way we name you when you're in trouble. It has a first name, a middle name, and a last name. Now, all triangles are related, so its last name is triangles. Okay, so, either the first or the middle name, either one, depends on who you ask. I like looking at it being the first name, is an angle name. So, you have an acute triangle, which all three angles are going to be acute. You have a right triangle, which one angle is going to be right and two angles are going to be acute. And then you have an obtuse triangle, where you have one obtuse angle and two acute angles. Now we just got to remember what these angles mean. Acute means less than 90 degrees. Right angle means exactly 90 degrees. And an obtuse angle is going to be an angle that is greater than 90 but less than 180 degrees. So you have to remember all those different parts. Okay, so that's our angle names. Now we have triangle names. I mean, sorry, we have side names. Okay, and the side names are scalene triangle where we have no sides equal. We have an isosceles triangle where two sides are equal. And we have an equilateral triangle where all sides are equal. Okay? So that's back in you know fourth, fifth, and sixth grade information that you should have known. Now another piece of information that you should have gathered up at back in fifth and sixth grade is the triangle angle theorem. And this is the one that we talked about when we talked about angles of, of triangles. Okay, it says the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the triangle are 180 degrees. And we know interior means inside. So if I were to take the three angles of that triangle, I'm always going to get 180 degrees, no matter what. Okay? So one of the types of questions that you were asked back in fifth and sixth grade was, what's the missing angle? <clears throat> so this is where we have to use a little algebra in order to find this. Well, we know based on that previous theorem that we just talked about, that this 47, this 58, and this x is all going to equal 180 degrees. So that means we can write an algebraic equation for that. x plus 58 plus 47 equals 180. Now, what I've taught you is that if there's anything on one side that you can put together, you put it together. So this 58 and the 47, I could put that together. So you go somewhere, either with your calculator or just on paper, and you add this together. Well, 8 and 7 make 15. So 5 and 4 make 9, plus 1 gives me 10. So that gives me 105. So this is x plus 105 is equal to 180. Right. So now we got to get rid of this 105. So we subtract 105 from this side. We subtract 105 from this side, okay, which is what we do in algebra. And you end up finding the value of x is equal to 75, and in this case, 75 degrees. <coughs> so that's how we use this particular theorem. The three angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees. So what I'd like for you to do, okay, um, we got another question here that we got to look at. Okay, now this one right here is a little bit more difficult. Okay, because this one requires you to do a little bit more algebra, but it's not any different. So pause the video and see if you can answer this one by yourself. Okay, let's see how you did. Now this one we're using that same theorem. We know that this 31 and this 3x minus 1 and this little box here equal 180 degrees. Now we know the box represents a 90 degree angle. Okay. So that means we can take this 3x minus 1 plus 31 plus 90 equals 180 degrees. Now you could also take the 3x minus 1 and the 31, add those together and get 90 degrees also. Because if one angle is 90, we know these two over here are going to add up to 90 degrees. So now, what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to take care of this, this minus right here and change that minus to a plus next to its opposite so I can then start rearranging some things. So just like we did on the last question, there's some things that I can put together here. So I can put the, the, the 3x down plus, 
and this 90, the 31, and the 1 can all go together to make 120. Because 90 and 31 give me 121. Take away 1 gives me 120 equals 180. Now, we do the same thing that we just did. we got to subtract. Okay, So i got to get rid of this 120, so I'm going to subtract 120 from this side. And if I do it on one side, i got to do it on the other. And you find out that you end up with 3x is equal to 60 degrees. So now, I've got to take this, this multiply by 3, and how do I get rid of that? Well, we do a divide by 3. And we end up with x is equal to, and then 60 divided by 3 gives me 20. Now, if I wanted to actually find the measure of this angle, I would then take this amount right here, this 20, and I would plug it back into the 3x minus 1. So we would take the 3 times the 20 that we know. Okay, Minus 1 would give me the measure of this angle right here. Okay, So 3 times 20 gives me 60. Minus 1 gives me 59 degrees. So the measure of this angle would actually be 59 degrees. Okay? So there are several ways that we could have actually found that, but that one is the algebraically correct way of doing it. Now I need you to kind of remember this idea of taking whatever our x value is and plugging it in to find the missing angle, because that's one of the things that you'll have to do on your assignment today. Now what we've talked about so far is just the stuff that you should have already known back in fifth and sixth grade, dealing with this triangle angle theorem. Now we threw a little 7th and 8th grade algebra in on it, but it's still just a 5th and 6th grade concept. <clears throat> so now let's move up to the 8th grade concept. <clears throat> the 8th grade concept, we have to understand the idea of an exterior angle. <clears throat> it says in order to comprehend the next theorem, we must learn two more terms that describe angles. The angle formed by one side of the triangle with the extension of another side is called an exterior angle. So if I extend this side right here, and it makes an angle on the outside of the triangle with this one, this is called an exterior angle. Okay? Now the reason why we have to understand that idea is because the two remote interior angles are going to equal this exterior angle. It says the two angles that are not adjacent to, or not beside, not connected to, or next to the exterior angle of the triangle are called remote interior angles. Okay, so this one is our exterior. So these two angles of the triangle that do not touch that one are called remote interior angles. And the reason why we need to know that is because the next theorem says, it's called the exterior angle theorem, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two remote interior angles. So that means this angle right here, this exterior angle, is equal to the sum of these two remote interiors. Okay. So with that in mind, we look at one of these problems that we did in class. Now here is our exterior angle because it's on the outside of the triangle. This angle right here is the one that's adjacent to it. So that means the other two angles of this triangle are the remote interiors. And according to this theorem, if I take these two angles, add them together, I will get the sum or I will get the measure of this exterior angle. Okay, so in this one right here, I'm going to take this 21 and I'm going to take this 34 and that's going to equal that exterior angle of x degrees. So all this is telling me to do is take the 21 and the 34 and add them together. So if I add them together, 20 and 30 make 50 plus the 4 and the 1 give me 55. So that exterior angle was equal to 55 degrees. Okay? And that's all we're having to do on this particular problem. Now, they do get a little, little bit tougher. Okay, So what if I were to give you one like this? Okay? And this one right here, it's the same kind of thing. Here's our 100. Here's our exterior angle. This is the angle that's adjacent to it. Okay, so if I kind of highlight that one, that means the other two angles are the ones that are called the remote interior. Okay, so that's how you identify them. It's the ones that are not touching this exterior angle. And I know that these two, if I were to add them together, I would get 100 degrees. So we use our algebra just like we did on the earlier questions. 2x plus 3 plus 51 is going to equal that 100 degrees. Now we just put together anything that I can. So the 2x stays by itself there, plus, and then the 3 and the 51 make 54 is equal to 100. Now I've got to solve for this x, so I've got to get rid of this 54 first. So I subtract 54, and I end up with 2x is equal to 46. So when I do that subtraction, I get 46. And then I've got to get rid of this multiply by 2. 
So I do a divide by 2, and we find out that x is equal to 23. Now, if I wanted to actually find the measure of this angle, I've got to take that 23 and plug it in. So 2 times 23 plus 3. So 2 times 23 gives me 46, plus the 3 is going to give me 49 degrees, right? which is what this angle, the entire thing, is equal to. Not what x is, but what the entire angle is. And like I said, you're going to need to know how to do that for your assignment. Right? So what we've talked about today is two things. We've talked about the, um, the triangle angle theorem, which means that the three angles of a triangle are always going to equal 180 degrees. We've also talked about the exterior angle theorem, which says that this exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. Okay, and that's the eighth grade concept, dealing with this exterior angle. And that's what your assignment is going to be about today, is dealing with the eighth grade concept of the exterior angle. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to change my link again, but the link will be on the assignment. Okay, so just click on the link on the assignment, and then you can... Um, go to the assignment from there. Okay, here's what the three problems are going to look like today. Now, this particular problem will be question number one. This one is straight off of last year's STAR test. So, you've already worked this problem once when you did your benchmark. Right? So, in this particular one, all three of these triangles are the same triangle. However, the measurements are kind of strange. Okay? So, when you look at this one right here, saying that that's 120 degrees, that angle is not 120 degrees. But if you look in the instructions, it says four triangles are shown. One side of each, or yeah, one side of each triangle lies on a ray, and the triangles are not drawn to scale. Okay, so that means these angles don't. They're not, they don't make sense, okay? But they are, if you remember, they are remote interior angles. Okay, so what we're trying to do is figure out which one of these, or based on these three triangles right here, what would the measure of X be? And we're looking for that answer down here, okay? Now, question number two, again, don't pay attention to the numbers that are already there. This will be question number two. Okay, it says, which of the following is the correct measure of angle ACD? Well, ACD is the measure of this exterior angle out here. Now, it's asking for what is the measure. It's not asking for what X is. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to find X, and then you've got to take its value and plug it back into 3X. And then that should give you one of these answers over here on below. Okay? And you're going to be doing the same thing on question number three. Which of the following is the correct measure of angle ABC? Now, on the last problem, we were finding the exterior angle. This time, you're going to do the same process, but we're going to be looking for angle ABC, which is this X plus 14. So once you find the value of X, you're going to plug it into this expression, X plus 14, to find the actual measure of the angle. Okay? So that's what we're doing on our lesson today, finding the inside and outside angles of triangles. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.